What the fuck's up, everybody? It's your boy, Hot Sauce Beats, bringing you another motherfucking reaction on another Thursday Night Reaction Marathon! The night has already been fucking crazy. Uh, we reacted to Lyrical Lemonade's music video for Lil Durk, Three Headed Go, featuring Lil Baby and Polo G. Music video is off the fucking chain. And then we did a full-on reaction to 88 Glams, Numania, pretty fucking dope. Check them bitches out. But, uh, I wanted to kind of switch up gears a little bit, and I wanted to do a new reaction to some who I've never reacted to. They just dropped the new music video for Lil Peep's new song, Lil G, rest in peace, Lil Peep. The last couple years have been really tragic to the music industry. Whether or not you're a fan of Lil Peep, uh, he was taken way too fucking soon, and he's definitely a talented artist and has some pretty dope songs. Uh, I have not heard anything off of his new album. I'm really excited to react to this, and I'm actually a pretty big fan of his album, Come Over When You're Sober, part one. Really fucking dope. But please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe and like button, and hit that notification bell too. But enough fucking around. I'm done fucking yakking. Let's get to fucking reacting. Now that's what the fuck is up. Woo! Okay. I remember when you used to hold my hand. Now you act yeah. like a You will never find another one just like See, this me. is why I like Lil Peep, man. Great tone to his voice. I see your face when I look out the window. I just gotta say, this music video, I mean, it's fucking beautiful. I feel like they've been doing the same thing with Juice World's uh, music videos lately. I mean, it's a fucking tragedy and sad to fucking watch this shit. I mean, watching this, I mean, you feel like this was just filmed last weekend. I am really fucking loving this song. This beat is absolutely fucking crazy. That 808 is setting the whole fucking tone to this song. But then that, like, piano slash Rhodes piano, definitely driving that vibe as well. And it's almost kind of adding to that haunting tone. I'm really fucking digging this song, and Lil Peep's voice is absolutely fucking magical on this song. Let's get back to it. Yeah. I remember when you used to hold my hand Now you acting like a ghost girl. You will never find another one just like me Long nights getting high on the coast girl I see your face when I look out the window Much of Lil Peep's music you guys have listened to. A lot of his songs are about having his heart fucking broken. Same thing about this fucking song. Like, whoever this fucking girl was absolutely ripped his fucking heart out, fucking threw it on the ground, ran it over, cut it up into a million fucking pieces, and then set that bitch on fire. You can hear the fucking emotion and the sadness and the sorrow and the depression in his fucking voice when he's singing this song. It's really fucking tugging on my heartstrings. Again, this, this shit is so fucking haunting to watch and hear, but it's at the same fucking time, it's such a beautiful fucking song, man. Let's get back to it and finish this song out. I'm fucking ready. Bitch, no. Bitch, no. Bitch, no. Bitch, no. This song really got me up in my fucking feelings right now. Again, rest in peace, Lil Peep. Uh, you are greatly missed by your fucking fans, and you will live forever with the music that you left behind for us all. Bro, this fucking song is absolutely fucking beautiful. I know Lil Peep uh, really gets a lot of love from his fans, but then really gets a lot of hate from other people. Um, we all have fucking different tastes in music, and uh, at the end of the day, Lil Peep was an, uh, was an extremely fucking talented artist. I love how he fucking infuses rock and hip-hop together. 
I personally think he's got a great sounding voice. And again, he's not a traditional hip hop artist. He's definitely got a lot more rock tones uh, to his style of singing. Perfect example is this fucking song. Kind of a trappy type beat, but 100% Lil Peep's performance is rock inspired. I think it is an absolute thing of fucking beauty. And I appreciate his team that uh, posthumously put out this album, Cry Baby. This is a beautiful fucking song. And I really need to check out the rest of the fucking album. If this is anything like Come Over When You're Sober Part 1, uh, I'm totally gonna fuck with this song. Again, I loved everything fucking about this, from the Rhodes piano to that fucking 808, to the fucking hard ass hit and snare, and then to Lil Peep's rock inspired vocals. Absolutely fucking beautiful. Again, you felt every ounce of fucking emotion. You felt his blood, sweat, and tears being put in the song, and I really fucked with it. But let's go ahead and give this fucking song a grade, and uh, yeah, I gotta give this a fucking 91. I really fucked with it, and I really love everything fucking about it. But let me know in the comments what you guys think if you fuck with the song or not, or if you agree with my grade, why you at it? Please fucking help support the channel by hitting that subscribe and like button, and then hit that bell and become part of my fucking notification gang, cause that's what the fuck is up. But hey, it's Thursday night, reaction marathon. It's currently one in the morning. I'm starting to fucking run on E. Uh, we already got a full album reaction, and then another music video out earlier before Lil Peeps. Uh, there still is so much I wanna fucking do. Black just put out his fucking EP. Lil Dirk put out his deluxe album. Uh, Young and Ace put out his fucking album. Lil Mosey put out a fucking song with Lil Baby. There's so much fucking shit that came out, but I'm also getting tired as fuck. So we will see what happens. But remember, it's eat, sleep, and make beats. And as usual, be kind to one another. But that's all the fuck I got. Boom! I'm out! Uh! Got nothing but love for you motherfuckers. Woo! Rest in peace, Lil Pete. Pots off, boots! Woo-hoo!